Who are you? I'm Crane. I was looking for Rupert. No, you weren't. You were looking for a gunsmith who happens to be named Rupert. All right, fair enough. I'd like to talk about some weapon modifications. You work for Rise? No. Mm. Well, I suppose that helps. But I'm waiting for my wife Jasmine to come back. Until she's here, I can't leave. Has she been gone long? No, not long. So it'll probably be a while before she returns. And what about these kids? Are their parents... Dead, I hope. Every day, I'm terrified that one of them is going to look out the window and see their mother or father shambling down the street. I don't know what I'm going to do when that happens. What have you told them? Half-truths. That a dark magic has taken over the city, but that I am a good wizard who can protect them. It's the sort of game that doesn't end. Jasmine is better at this sort of thing. Hell, I'm a gunsmith. What am I doing playing this magical nonsense? Seems to me you're doing pretty well. Well, I'm not. There's a girl named Isla. She's a diabetic. Only her insulin ran out a while ago. Now her blood sugar is sky high. She's dehydrated and exhausted. Jasmine says if she doesn't get some insulin soon, she'll slip into a coma and die. And here I am in this stupid wizard hat, and the kids are waiting for me to cure her with a magic potion. Maybe it's time to tell them the truth. There is no good magic. Only the dark kind. Take it easy, Rupert. There's a drugstore in town. Maybe I can find some insulin there. Are you serious? Mister, if you could do that, I can't tell you how grateful I'd be. I've got a radio here. If my wife Jasmine comes back, I'll probably go home for a while. But I'll let you know before I leave.
Insulin here. Crane, 
Crane, it's Tobias. I've got a new workshop set up here in Old Town, and I've made massive progress on my machete. You've got to see it. You've just got to so come and visit me, okay? I don't see any insulin. Troy, can you hear me? It's Crane. Yes, Crane. What do you need? There's a bunch of kids in the Magic Fortress. Did you know about this? It's news to me. We thought that place was empty. Do they need assistance? From what I've seen, yes. It's going to take time to get anyone over there. Understood. I'll stay until someone arrives. Hey, look, in the meantime, I need insulin. I'm at the drugstore now, but it's been picked clean. Maybe you could check and see if the computer works. There should be records of people who bought the insulin last, along with their addresses. Maybe they still have it? Thanks, Troy. Out. <sighs> Never expected Haran's destiny to turn out so close to its intention. And yet, so far. So, why do you sound so down about it? Because the outbreak has demonstrated what I fear is one of the more fundamental elements of human nature. We divide ourselves. We divide ourselves and we look for an enemy. The survivors in the tower are a diverse lot, it's true. But who are we more frightened of? The infected? Or Rise and his army of gangsters? And Rise himself? I'm told his men are just as varied as those of us here. And yet, he sends them against us. If old lines fade, we draw new lines. Okay, well, thanks for that bit of inspiration.
This is Crane. Look, no luck here. Damn it. Isla's lying down. She doesn't look right. I think we're almost out of time. Oh, but there is a receipt here for insulin sold to someone named Ekram Bozkurt. That ring a bell? That's Isla's father. Maybe he left the insulin at their home. His address is on the receipt. All right, I'll head over and have a look.
Rika, I'm driving to the pharmacy to get Alia's medication, then to Farhad Pizzeria, and then I'll pick up Alia from daycare. We should be home with dinner by six. We love you, my darling, Ekram. So he got to the pharmacy, but he never picked up his daughter. Rupert, where's Farhad Pizzeria? What? Just get me the address. It's near the Magic Fortress on Mercantile Street.
I can't believe you've done it. Will she be all right? Yes, yes, it's exactly what she needs. I'll take care of Isla, but could you keep the other children busy while I'm with her? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really, I'm pretty busy. Just talk to them. That's all you need to do. I've already told them you're a great warrior, like a knight. You did? When's your wife coming back? You'll be fine. I just need a few minutes. Children! This heroic warrior has returned with a healing elixir for Isla. Now he's going to stay here and be your protector, while I administer the elixir to Isla. Well now, hang on, wait. I won't be long. Hey there, bud. What's your name? Kadim. Kadim. I like that name. I have a secret. Really? Yeah, well, so do I. What's your secret? I'm a GRE agent. What do you got? Can you get my blocks for me? But that's, that's not really a secret. But some of them are downstairs, near the basement. And Mr. Rupert said we're not ever to go near the basement. Not ever. But I went down there just to see. And I heard a scary sound, and I kind of dropped my blocks. They're kind of all over. Could you get them back for me? Huh, that's a tall order, but I'll give it a shot. Here you go, Kadeem. All blocks accounted for. Thanks. Hey, are you going to tell Rupert about this? So, will you keep my secret? That you work for the... Who was that again? Your secret's safe, Kadeem. But I'm gonna talk to Rupert about those noises in the basement. I heard them too. Isla's okay. She's sleeping now. She'll need some time to fully recover. Thank you again, Mr. Crane. My wife Jasmine should be back any time now, and since I know how tiring these kids can be, I'm sure you'll be wanting to move on. No, not just yet. But, well, our supplies are very limited. Look, this is too much responsibility for one person, Rupert. I've sent for help. They'll be here soon. That's not necessary. Jasmine and I can handle things just fine. Rupert. 
I was downstairs. Oh. I see. I'm, I'm sorry, Rupert. Sometimes in those noises, I think I can still hear a tiny trace of her voice. I was hoping it would be over by now, but I couldn't do it. My wife, my beautiful, beautiful Jasmine. This has to end. I would let her kill me before I would lift a finger to harm her. Just give me the basement key. Did you find her? Were you able to help her? She has peace now. Thank you. From both of us. I hope somewhere I may find forgiveness for what I did. For what I couldn't do. Are you really leaving? I'm afraid I have to, sweetie. But some friends are coming to help you guys out. They'll be here really soon. What if the troll gets them? Uh, what troll? There's a giant troll down in the parking lot. He makes lots of very scary noises, so it's hard to sleep. Oh, well, that's no good. Maybe I'd better chase him away. And yeah, we can't have trolls in the parking lot, can we? No, sir.
clear out here. Crane, that wasn't the troll. Wait, what? That's the troll. Oh, of course it is. Scratch one troll. Crane, this is Rupert. You're all right? Yeah, but kids are a lot more work than I realized. <laughs> That's the truth. Look, your friends arrived, so I'm turning in my wizard hat and headed back to my workshop. I want you to meet me there. I owe you one hell of a debt, and it's time for me to pay it. And I'll meet you there.
got company. Some new gear. No matter how many times I watch it, I still can't believe it. An internal global relief effort document surfaced today that, if verified, implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Worldwide backlash has... No, no, skip to the important bit. I was the last survivor left to the quarantine. I can't believe I made it out. I can't believe I'm still alive. We mourn all those who didn't survive. But as the president said in a speech here earlier today, life is for the living. Military troops have searched for survivors all over the quarantine, but now there's no one left besides the infected. According to Colonel Tanner, once his decontamination process is finished, the infection will be completely obliterated. Ministry did this. They're making their excuses to the rest of the world for destroying a city. Look, Crane, before you go charging out of here, we already had an idea of how to send a message. We were going to plant explosives in a building and set off fires in a pattern, something the zombies could never do. Trouble is, we got the runner, Michael, over to the right building, but he can't get through to the top floors. Too many biters. As much as I hate to admit it, none of the rest of us are strong enough to do this job. Well, we've got to do something right fucking now, or you, me, Jade, and everybody else are going to get blown to bits. I tell Michael I'm on my way, and while I'm doing that, can you get in touch with Jade? Try to get her to meet me. You have my word. Frank, oh, one more thing. <laughs> Rise brought some of his shock squads to Old Town. They've only been here for a few weeks, but they're doing a lot of damage. They're launching raids and terrorizing survivors at every opportunity. It seems Rise officially ordered them to be as brutal as possible. Yeah, he likes people to know he's in town. They're well fortified. In addition to their headquarters, they're using two staging grounds to gather supplies. I'm told they've amassed quite a haul. I could use some supplies. Ah. Oh. You'd be doing us all a very big favor. Where are the outposts? One's in an office building, and the other is in the radio station. Uh, maybe I'll pay him a visit. If you pass the fun zone, please, check what's happening there. Uh, what do you mean? You'll hear it for yourself. Someone's calling for help. There are women and children there.
Are you Crane? Because you look like him. Yeah, I'm Crane. Hey, what are you doing here? Are you all alone? My dad passed away a couple of days ago, but he taught me how to survive. Listen, mister. Dad left a stash for Crane. If you really are him, and you can prove it, I'll give it to you. Okay, well, how can I prove I am who I say I am? Go outside and show me how quick you are. My dad said the real Crane was faster than anybody. So try to be real quick, mister. We saw a flare nearby. I bet someone ran into a group of bandits. Someone's going to be dead soon. The worst thing about them isn't the way they look. It's that they need to be. It's not the
Troy, there's a distress message coming from the fan zone. This place should be empty. Yeah, now maybe I'll check it out. <laughs> to anyone who can hear this, our situation is dire. There are women and children here. We can offer electronic equipment and ammunition in exchange for medicine, food, and drinking water. Please. Electronic equipment and ammunition 
in exchange for medicine, food, and drinking water. Please, help us. To anyone who can hear this, our situation is dire. There are women and children here. We can offer electronic equipment and ammunition in exchange for medicine, food, and drinking water. Please, help us! To anyone who can hear this, your situation is dire. I've killed women and children here. I can offer you death in exchange for your medicine, food, and drinking water. Come to me. Tell me what's happening. I'm in the fan zone. This place is a trap. Keep people the hell out of here. Understood. Now take your own advice and get out of there. I think I'm gonna have to deal with this one, Troy. Crane out. to challenge me. Excellent. Take the elevator, and it will bring you straight to me. To anyone who can hear this, your situation is quickly deteriorating. I've killed so many, I can no longer remember them all, but they were all weak. You are weak. So you will die. To anyone who can hear this, I'm going to cut out your eardrums so you won't hear anything. You will die in total silence. Not to worry. I will hear your screams for you so they won't go to waste. To anyone who can hear this, I was left behind by cowards. But I've survived by awakening my natural predatory abilities. Here I am, ruler. Here I am king. Here you will die. To anyone who can hear this, you're almost mine. It's Crane. You all right? Yeah, some psycho's been luring people into the fan zone and hunting them. Must be 15 or 20 bodies down here. Is he dead? And yeah, dead as I can make him. Crane out.
Americans. Let's get them.
Take this, a token of gratitude from all of us.
It's you, Crane. I've seen your face on the posters. You've got to help me. What happened to you? I took a bullet from Razor's men. I'm a runner too. Well, almost. Look, I'm out of commission. Can you help me out? I need you to finish this run for me. Yeah, look, I'll get you to a shelter or something, but I've got other things to take care of. You don't have anything more important than this, I guarantee it. All right, tell me what you got. The source of the epidemic. Where? David can show you. Here's a list and a bag with the things I already collected. The rest is on you. When you've got it all, take it to David. He'll tell you everything. You'll find him at the Royal Canal. Tell him Spider sent you. What about you? I've got a safe house nearby. I'll be fine. Just help David. That's all that matters.
Thank you. I thought I wouldn't make it. <sighs>
Ooh. Are you speaking? Just wanted to remind you to not be playing heroes in the dark, huh? Get back here or find a safe house. You've got about one hour. Who are you? Crane. Spider sent me. Why? What's happened to him? He ran into Rice's people, but he'll be all right. Like, I brought the things he was collecting for you. You're a lifesaver. Thanks, Crane. This is really going to make a difference. So, tell me what this is all about. Oh, I thought you knew. Well, I know it involves the source of the epidemic. Yes, the meteorite. I know where it landed. You think the epidemic came from space? What do you think? Aran gets hit by a meteor, a bunch of guys in hazmat suits show up, and two days later, people start jumping on each other. You think that's a coincidence? You have some proof of this? I did. Rice's men just took off with my last samples. I was going to send Spider out for some more. Could you do it? deal. Yeah, you fucked up! <laughs> 